booze and banter. Good morning, Frank. Good morning, Roman. Early morning. Yeah. A uh, different brew today, huh? Another brewed coffee episode because someone named Roman cannot drink that early in the morning. <laughs> it's only beer. A, it's only afternoon that you can drink alcohol. It's a it's a worldwide rule. So no, no. I'm a rule. Not, not a rule. It's a guideline. I'm a rule breaker and a guideline breaker. Oh, you're a rebel. Yeah. That's, do we ting now with this? Mm. People can see our new coffee mugs. Oh, yeah. Check out this. Mm-hmm. We'll be for sale. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't drink yet. <laughs> because this is still up for grabs. Do you have something in your coffee there? <laughs> something shiny? Up for grabs. We're going to have a pound round coming soon. Next pound round. Yeah. Not only I'm going to need Uber here, but fucking ambulance too, mm-hmm. just in case. Yeah, it's good to prepare. I feel ahead. like this one, this next one's going to be very aggressive. And there may be a, <laughs> there may be some uh, preparation for this. Oh, jeez. But either way, fucking beer drinking Olympics. <laughs> what do we got for our coffee here today? We are drinking Fazenda. Bless you. Fazenda, <laughs> Guatemala, medium dark chocolate caramel rum. Hmm. It says a whole bean. We we ground this coffee and um, let's see. Whole bean is definitely better. I think it's you know when you're when you're grinding it. I think the fresher, more fresh. Better, yeah, I think you also should keep them in like a refrigerator. The open package. Yeah, like it doesn't like make it better or fresh. Yeah, it fresh. They probably vacuum seal this or something when they well they send it to you or not vacuum, I don't but know how vacuum because it's got that valve thing here to smell the coffee. So the Fazenda commitment. At Fazenda, coffee is more than just our job. It's a labor of love. It's our commitment. Like most people, we wake up thinking about the stuff in this bag. But at Fazenda, we've dedicated our lives to roasting the perfect cup of coffee. We travel around the globe searching for the highest quality coffee beans. In the end, only the best tasting coffee in the world will ever make it into this bag. And we wouldn't have it any other way. So uh, where I got this from. Back in November, uh, we went to Massachusetts. And uh, one morning we decided to just go out for breakfast. So called place, made a reservation. They said that uh, we can't do over the phone reservations. You got to come in. Like, okay. So, that's not a reservation. I know. <laughs> so, well, we attempted to make a reservation. Mm-hmm. So this wasn't, so we drove into Salem, Massachusetts. I was like 20, 30 minutes from where we were staying. And um, we went to this restaurant to put a reservation in. So we did, and then they kicked us out. <laughs> They're like, yeah, but you can't wait in here. You have to leave. I'm like, it's fucking cold outside. Mm-hmm. It's windy, it's freezing, I have to be outside. They're like, we'll text you when, when your table is ready. And I'm looking around, I'm like, there's perfectly good amount of space here to stand and wait or sit. And they wouldn't let us. Mm. So that's annoying. We walked out, we walked a few doors down, and um, there was another cafe. And their logo, I think, was a pug at the cafe. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll have to look it up and... and once I think of the, the name, it'll be in the video on YouTube. But um, we walked in there, and there were open tables, and we're like, can we can we sit down? They're like, Breakfast yeah. place? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like, yeah, absolutely. So I'm like, oh, fuck it. Cancel that other one. We'll... I wouldn't cancel it. I'd wait for them to fucking call me. And then uh, so we sat down. We we're drinking. We ordered coffee first thing. It came in. My wife and I took a sip at the same time. Mm-hmm. And we looked at each other like, fuck, this is good. I have never had orgasmic coffee. I just, I've never right. had something where I'm like, I got to well, have With that. this one, you did. You had to go change your pants, remember? <laughs> so um, <laughs> so it's rare when I go places and I take my first sip of coffee and really impressed with, with, with the taste or mm-hmm. quality. And so the guy who was taking our orders, I was like, do you guys sell this coffee? And he's like, oh, yeah, absolutely. So they have different different types they have like mexican coffee this guatemalan coffee and um i bought a few bags so 
This is one of them. So, so Fazenda sells the Mexican kind that you bought also? Mm -hmm. Or did you only buy their Guatemalan No, I bought Mexican and Guatemalan. Yeah. I like Mexican better. Yeah, I don't, I don't, like I said, I, I'm not probably the connoisseur that you guys are. I don't drink a lot of coffee. I got to start my day with a coffee. I, I drink so much coffee that if I don't have coffee, I get a headache. I start my day with a poop. <laughs> I'm actually pooping and drinking coffee oh, yeah? at the same time. I just take a sip of the coffee and I spit it in the toilet because that's where it's going to end up. Oh, yeah? Well, I have a, a coffee maker next to my bed. <laughs> <laughs> so I can take a cup I know of coffee you are, but what am I? in the bathroom with me. I know you are, what am I? <laughs> so I'm on a Fazenda website, so you can buy it from them. It is good, yeah. Uh, they have coffee, tea, gear, and gifts. So they got some merch, subscriptions, wholesale. They're on Instagram too? Yes, we follow them. Did you, we just started following them? No. What's their Instagram name? Fazenda. I think that's their company name. Okay. <laughs> At Fazenda? Well, you know how it is. I think together. it's Fazenda, uh, I'll tell you. It's Fazenda Coffee or Fazenda Brew? The name Fazenda was inspired by the Portuguese wo word for farm, where the whole journey begins. We wanted to celebrate our grows at, at the dedication to the craft. So the Fazenda, word Fazenda means farm in Portuguese. Mm -hmm. And they'll also ship to you. Yes. But it's Fazenda underscore coffee. Okay. In Dedham, Massachusetts. Mm, okay, cool. So, U.S. company. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I like it. It's a, I know you can't make this U.S. because beans don't grow in U.S. You can't get any coffee beans in the U.S.? Yeah, I don't think coffee beans grow in U.S., right? This is your story, man. I don't know. I'm just... <laughs> no, they grow on trees like fruit, like fucking last episode. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> or no, like, like vegetables or something. <laughs> You just won't let that one go, huh? No, no, I won't. That's all right. But speaking of last episode, didn't we have uh, someone reach out to us? We were talking oh, about, you know. Not hockey. last episode, because that was podcast with friends. That's right, yeah. Uh, so that's, that's a new thing we're trying out where we invite friends over. It doesn't change the the format of our podcast. They just, we have another person to join us, jokes, and mm -hmm. give us a different perspective. But uh, we had a podcast before that. So it must have been um, 44, maybe episode 44. Yeah, maybe episode 44. And we we did Big Alice uh, Brewing Company. They're out of Queens. And we were wondering why in word Alice, only L, I, and C were capitalized. So we had uh, Jason. Mm -hmm. right? Jason from um, Buffalo Brews Podcast reach out to us and explain why uh, why. It's L-I-C capitalized. So it stands for uh, Long Island City in Queens, mm -hmm. where the original, uh, f original facility is. So that's why the L-I-N-C were capitalized. Yeah, I watched some of their videos. And then you mentioned something about hockey, and he, he also reached out and, and told us um, what happened. Because you mentioned the guy get caught by a skate, right? Yeah, it was a goalie back in... Um yeah, it was 89, yep. yeah. I didn't realize it was that long ago. Um, but what was yeah, his I, name? I don't even know if I can pronounce his name right. Here. It was Clint Malarchuk. Mm -hmm. Malarchuk. But it's, uh, I remember seeing it, you know, on TV. Or maybe it wasn't even on TV. I saw it somewhere. But um, it was it was pretty pretty graphic. Oh. And then um, apparently it happened recently again also, and that, that guy passed away, as, Europe. as Jason mentioned. Yeah. yeah. I think that's why the goalies now have, like, their helmets come down lower, and they have guards. Well, I mean, I, I'm not even sure if it's still a rule in hockey, but I don't know if you have to even wear a helmet. At one point, they just left it up to you. Like, some yeah, some people have, like, you know, face shields. Some people don't. I don't know that Gordie Howe wore a helmet at one point. I don't. I don't know if it's changed. I don't watch enough hockey. I to can't pay imagine that right now, helmets would not be required. I don't know. Maybe back then it wasn't. But yeah. you have to wear a helmet. Are you sure? Or are you telling me because you think? Or are you tell me because you know? I'm telling you because what I think is a fact. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. My thoughts are factual. <laughs> yes. My opinions, I think, are factual. <laughs> And uh, they also have a face shield as well, 
like a small strip of a plastic glass, and that's to protect the puck from fucking hitting you in the face. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, hitting you in the nose and your eyes. But um, I also just found out that there's a hockey rule that the end of your hockey stick cannot be open. That's why they always tape on it or something? They put tape or something. It's it's To it's dull it or something? Closed. Mm. So I saw a video of uh, a hockey player in the penalty box, and he, he's using his mouth to rip a piece of tape off of like a glove or something, and he just <laughs> taped it over the hole. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's interesting. So, the the trip. Have you ever been to Salem, Massachusetts? No. I want to show you something. Well, cool. I don't know if, if we were there through um, some of these softball travels we had last year. But so, really quick, these helmets. So now the NHL just in February 2023 uh, mandated that helmets have to be worn during pregame warmups. So it must be that they have to be worn during the game also. And then, and then the, fa- the face shield was the 2013, 2014. Well, pre-game warm-ups, they just all come out on the ice. Right, but now they're making you wear helmets for that. Yeah, because I actually saw a video this morning, earlier this morning, not, not this. There was like pre-poop. <laughs> um, and yeah, they were warming up and some players didn't have mm-hmm. any helmets on. Maybe it was an older video? No. Probably last year, because if you said they just passed that pre-game warm-up, you have to wear a helmet. February 23, so. Yeah, so maybe maybe that was from 22. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, I was in, so you know the history of Salem, Massachusetts? Yeah, the witches and yeah, stuff. And- yeah. So I went, I went to a shop, and I found these interesting cards, playing cards. You play cards? Uh, like like Go Fish Don't and Uno that. and shit like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So it's called Royal Mischiefs, okay? Mm -hmm. And my favorite... those fucking things of gold. My favorite one is the Joker (laughs) in here. Those cards look like they've been used. No, they're not. (laughs) Is that the middle finger? (laughs) And he's got like a flame coming out of his ass? Yeah. (laughs) Does he shave his legs and this is like stubble? (laughs) And that's the, the you know how you have like two jokers, right? And, and, yeah. and but that other oh. joker is my favorite. No, this this joker girl show her boobs out. So Look at these things. They're very well we'll we'll do an up yeah. close of that that joker I have. But you have to look at these cards. They're like really wacky. Actually you just you said you watched this show American Street Nightmare. Nightmare? Yeah. So Kind of look at these. These cards. are like, yeah, they're, they're very, uh, they're really weird. But they're like, they're like off color, but they're shiny. But the, yeah, the, um, the artwork, like, what is this one? That's a king of hearts. Where does it say that? Well, there's a heart in the top corner. Well, how do I know this is a king? And he, it's like an older male. How do I know that's not a female? Maybe it's a non-binary card. It's a non-binary card. I don't know what to tell you. Well, see, like, yeah, some are different colors. Like, yeah, it's, the, it's a cool set. It's a good design here. So I was like, this is really cool. And uh, that's a picture Boy. of the Joker. That kind of sold it. I don't know <laughs> how you do this if you're hammered, though. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Have you seen um, videos of, like, somebody falls asleep, and then what they do is they'll take, um, they'll set up a table next to the person who's sleeping mm. and as if they were playing cards and then they'll like they'll take some cards and they'll put it like in their hand and they'll they'll sit at the table as if they were playing cards and that person fell asleep and they'll be like hey mike mike it's your turn and he like wakes up and like what the fuck is going on <laughs> like, cards in his hands and he's like trying to snap out of this like deep sleep <laughs> and then and they're sleeping sitting up yeah like sitting on the chair yeah. or the couch or whatever um but yeah, it made me think of that. And that's what we do differently because the videos I see are like people sticking vacuums on people's lips when they're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, ah, are they oh, I saw, shoving something in their mouth? I saw videos of like dads uh, using vacuum to do their daughter's hair. Have you seen those? No. They'll take a vacuum and on the vacuum hose, they'll put the, the what do you call them? The rubber, the rubber band things that the- Hair woman, ties? Hair ties. Yeah. They'll put that onto the vacuum hose. 
and then they'll take their hair and they'll like suck it into oh, the Oh, I see. And they'll take the the, the <laughs> yeah, rubber yeah. band and go over the yeah. over the hair. <laughs> I don't know if that worked. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I um I too do have something that I just remembered. You got your little gift there. Look what I got. Boom shakalaka. Oh. <laughs> Wait, you already had one and this is a new one? That's a different one. Dude, that's so fucking cool. That's a different bottle. See how it's different shaped, and, and this is another Haverly. 1857. Well, that's when it started. That's not from this. That's oh. where this bottle's from. But well, we're gonna say that's where the bottle's from. This is another Haverly. Dude, this is like look. Congress. It still has a sticker with a handwritten batch number or bottle number. I don't know what that is. It might be that might be like an auction thing that someone bought for fifteen dollars. Like maybe someone oh, put really? a price on it because the paper, or a garage sale. Paper kind of looks like the same color. It might be. But we can take Let me picture do this. Like this. Ew. Yeah. See how it's a different bottle? <laughs> no, no. This is like this is like modern, more modern bottle. This is probably, you know, uh, 1950s or something like that. This is cool. It says not to be refilled. Mm-hmm. No deposit. That's when they're like, fuck you, not giving right, Just fucking it. throw it on the ground and let someone drive over it. No return. That's what it was <laughs> before they recycled. Oh, and this is light. Yeah, this Congress light. Congress light. So, hey, really, Congress light beer bottle is what Dude, we're looking at here. a smile on my face. That's, That's so pretty cool. cool. But I've got like five or six bottles now from hey, really. <laughs> if anybody has like historic beer memorabilia, reach out to us. Yeah, or, absolutely. Or just send it to us. Anything. It doesn't It doesn't have to be Haverly, but Haverly is local to Syracuse. That's why we're kind of into yeah. it. And I know there, um, you know, we've had a, you can see a, an interview with Patrick from Haverly on our Patreon. But it's um it's just a cool bottle. We like this history and and it's a great story. It's, it's a, got my favorite number on the bottom, sixty nine. It's six point nine. It's six nine with a period in the middle. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> um do you see how it's like textured on the yeah. bottom? There's yeah. like a quarter inch strip. Yeah, they're not embossed anymore. I think now they're just like uh regular bottles with that information on the label, right? Like I love it. Oh, I thought these were birds. This is just an outline of clouds around the capital. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't like, know what you're looking okay, at. Okay, you fucking yeah. moron. You're looking at these fucking weird The cars. building, the, the capital building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Congress, get it? Oh, really? What's after the S in Congress? What is that thing? It's just an S. What's after the S, I said? Nothing. It's just like a cursive. Oh, okay. That's how they finish writing. Uh, like a like an accent aigu? Yeah. In French? <laughs> accent aigu. Uh -huh. Pretty cool. Yeah. When yeah. did you get this? That's none of your business, Roman. You just be happy we have it for our Alcohol of Fame, another edition. That sound is, is how you test the quality of the glass. <laughs> 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 yeah, so you got to... Are we going to go on to like Antique Roadshow one day? Yeah, we could. I mean, yeah. we, we've got to get some more stuff because it would be a quick trip. <laughs> 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 we got like eight items. And and six of them are Haverly. We'll be like, what is all this worth? He's going to be like, five cents, yeah. ten cents. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to get taxed on it. No, this is awesome. Pretty cool. And I think Thanks this, for getting that. This might fit over it or no? No. Mm. But no. That's just coveted. No, it'll fit over your dick. So pretty cool. <laughs> With room to spare. <laughs> You're not that smart. Smart? You don't remember? No. When we were in Paris, went to the Louvre, and all the Greek statues had small dicks. Oh. And the guy said... Well, how would I remember that? I didn't go to Paris. No, I mentioned that on the podcast. I don't listen to you when you're on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you just see my lips moving. Yeah, it's like, it sounds like Charlie Brown. Like, wonk, 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 the principal. <laughs> so the Greeks never put big dicks on their statues because they, they're... Their understanding was like if you have a big dick, you're dumb. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm if, fucking super smart. If you man. have a small dick, yeah. you're very intelligent. But then they have big bags. Then they have like big fucking nut sacks on the statues. Now, I'm not asking about real life. I'm asking about the statues. <laughs> what do they look like? I I think I don't know. Like a thumb with like the mango you got posted I mean, on Instagram <laughs> today, like little mango sack. You look like this. <laughs> I like how you hold it. Yeah, like like, that. I'm demonstrating. It's like a thumb. Yeah, what, what hangs lower, the tip of your dick or the ball sack? Or the mango bag. <laughs> the bango. 
<laughs> you know what? The distance between the bottom of the sack and your tip is the intelligence level. <laughs> <laughs> the more the yeah. distance, the smarter right, you are. Yeah, so, so if your bag slaps Unless your on little the ins- thing is like, <laughs> yeah. If your bag slaps on the inside of your knee, <laughs> first of all, you're in the wrong business. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's where the knowledge yeah. is stored, but yeah. then it gets longer to get to your brain. You need Greek porn, if that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> you get grape nut from a slap on your leg. Have you ever seen the movie uh, Birdcage? Robin no, Williams in it? No. Oh, man. But was there someone else in there? Like uh, Klein? A was it? Uh, Kevin Klein, is that his name? There are a few more. Maybe, yeah. Whatever. I don't, I just, I'm terrible with What was that names. about? It's about this, um, so Robert Williams. Has Robin his, Williams? Robin yeah, Williams. Yeah. What did I say? Robert. Robert. Yeah. <laughs> See, I told you I'm bad with names. Yeah. Robin Williams has a son, and uh, he falls in love with this girl, and he wants to bring her over to introduce her to to his father. And his father is out of the closet. He's he's gay, and he's uh, he has a boyfriend. Robin Williams and his boyfriend they have a drag bar uh, that they own, mm-hmm. and that's below their apartment. So they live upstairs, and their 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 bars downstairs, and they have like drag shows and stuff like that. So. He's coming over to introduce his girlfriend to his father and his girlfriend's parents are politicians. And her father said something that was politically incorrect or there was that mm-hmm. rumor of him like, like sleeping with some women, whatever. There was some bad ca- controversy going on and they had to like leave town somehow. And they're like, what a perfect escape. We'll go with their daughter and meet uh, this guy's parents. But they don't know. They don't know that they're uh, gay. And uh, so their apartment is all furnished with like a lot of memorabilia of like, not memorabilia, it's like statues of like Greeks and dicks mm, and their mm-hmm. their plates and everything have like guys having sex. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. So they were in there. That's going to make the food salty. They're in their house. <laughs> I'm kind of fast forwarding a little bit, but they're in, they're in their house and the table is set, but they... They asked um, their their friend who helps them around the house. And, um, I forgot his name. It's like a Spanish name. We'll call him Enrique. Sure. They're like, make get rid of all the stuff that looks like gay. You know, like the, could could be questionable. So they got rid of everything, but they forgot to change the plates. Mm. Um, and so the mother of of this girl looks at the plates. She's like, are these? Gay man, and so their helper quickly comes in, pours soup in there, <laughs> <laughs> and the dad's like, "Oh yeah, it looks like," and then he puts his plate down, and pours soup in mm. there really quick. I would put a hot dog on it. So it's um, and then so like the it's a comedy. The media, yeah, it's a yeah. comedy. The media finds out that they're there or some rumors, and then now they're trying to leave so that they wouldn't be recognized by the media. So they have this idea to dress them up as drags. Oh, okay. And then they go through the club and, and they escape. So it's a really funny movie. Mm-hmm. Um, a I lot of I like Robin Williams, Williams movies. Yeah. Uh, like um, Mrs. Dubfire. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty funny. He's yeah. very talented. I mean, he was good in Goodwill Hunting and that was, yeah, was a comedy book. I love that movie. I remember one of his early ones I watched was Popeye. He was he was Popeye. He was Popeye? I didn't see yeah, it was, a, it was a really, I don't know what you call that cinematography piece of it, like a, almost like a... Um, like an animation, not an animation, like a, a live action maybe or something like this. It was it was really cool. I mean, and there was an olive oil and all these things, but he was he just plays. A, he's a good he's a good actor. He was a good actor. And, you know. I like in Mrs. Doubtfire when he takes the bus, <laughs> and the bus driver sees his hairy legs. Yeah, he's like, oh, I love natural women. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay, well, we're never going to fight over that. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can have it. You know? I can have it. No, not even you. Like whoever. No. <laughs> yeah, if you want to go ahead too. Like that's good. I'll, I'll, I'll enjoy this coffee because it's was good. Was he enough. in the movie? Um, was there like a fantasy movie he was in, Peter Pan or something like that? I think it was Peter Pan. Oh, it was Peter Pan. Yeah. Oh, he was also in like One Hour Photo. I think he was like a creepy photo developer guy. Mm, I didn't see that. Yeah, he was like, I mean, he's 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 pretty versatile, 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 versatile. Yeah, versatile, versatile. <laughs> okay, that's the word. Yeah, I have a joke for you. Oh yes, I don't know if I have any jokes. What do you get? What do you get when you cross a rooster and an owl? 
Uh, cock a doodle who? <laughs> a cock that stays up all night. <laughs> That's like Viagra's mascot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mascot. They should do that. A rooster plus an owl equals Viagra. Yeah, you're a little blue pill. <laughs> if you swallow wrong, you're a stiff neck. <laughs> <laughs> it goes down the wrong tube. Right. <laughs> I don't think I have any any jokes for you, Roman. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Well, this Aren't is you supposed your... to be like always prepared? Well, I am prepared, but I um I I was thinking about Kegels. <laughs> I don't know how this is, this is not a joke, but What's... Kegels is like is like strengthening your vagina muscles. Like not your vagina muscles. Like Kegel a is the vagina muscle or an exercise? That's an exercise. That's called Kegel? Mm-hmm. But I think guys should have peagles for penis kegels. Didn't we talk about that last episode when ah. I said if you hold your pee for too long, it's not good for your prostate? Did, and, we, did and, we talk about peagles? No. Okay, well, then we, no, we didn't I talk said, about it last I episode. Said, I said if you always hold your pee for too long, it makes it worse. And when you get older, you'll be wearing diapers because you can't hold. Really? But there are exercises to strengthen your, your muscle. Well, why would that be bad if you hold it? Like I think it... You know, strengthen it. When you're holding, it's at, at a constant uh, pressure, mm -hmm. tightness, versus an exercise is when you're... But doesn't that work in weightlifting and stuff? Like you hold it like... So think of think of you you took a, a dumbbell and you lift it up and you hold it. Mm -hmm. Your arm starts to get sore, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So if you do that for too long, your muscles will deteriorate faster, as opposed to when you're doing your exercise pumping, let go and... You rest in between reps, right? So it's kind of like that muscle tightens and, and at a constant pressure. You hold your pee before you go piss. Well, what about a boner? <clears throat> that's hard for a while. Yeah, that's why when you get older, you're fucking limp dick. Is that what it is? By the way, everything I just said about the muscle thing, I made it up. Yeah, I can imagine. But it sounds... I, I, don't sounds say it sounds very I was gonna Roman. say I was gonna say theoretically sounds right, but theoretical term is actually used in 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 science as the highest level of proof. Did you know that? No, I didn't. That's not. true. I'm not making that you up. You sound this like a true. fucking Roman statue right now. <laughs> you're just fucking just lying about shit. Know. I didn't say you look. I said you sound. <laughs> you're just fucking you're trying to act like you have big dick, but you don't. <laughs> like, or no, small no. dick. <laughs> try act, you, you're just trying to act like a small dick, and you do. That type of thing. Are they say you don't? I don't know what I'm saying anymore. You don't know whether you're no. coming or going. <laughs> no, I do. That's why piss is yellow and cum is white. So you tell whether you're coming or going. <laughs> I don't know. I think I should exercise my blue vein throbber, my one-eyed yogurt slinger. You should exercise. It's healthy. Mm -hmm. It's good for you. So let's work on that. Well, <laughs> Come on. Be a real friend. <laughs> Come on. You can what do is it. Is that called a reach around? Whatever around. Is that a reach out only between friends or? It doesn't need to be a reach around. Like, you don't want to look me in the eyes? <laughs> Why would you be behind me? What? So, so you're saying. <laughs> you're saying if you were going to exercise my so penis. I have another story. About <laughs> I wanted to get into this. <laughs> I'm not getting into it. This coffee is good. I like it. Um, should we mention about. Our trip coming up? Yeah, we mentioned that a couple episodes ago. We got some remote, we got a remote thing happening here in the next couple months anyway, right? So yeah, we're going to make, we're going to have a trip. Yeah. And we're going to meet with at least one person. From Instagram. Yep. One of our Instagram followers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that'll be coming up at some point. That'll be like another guest thing. It won't be something on Patreon. It'll be a, mm -hmm. a guest episode that was we'll do remotely. Mm -hmm. You know, out of state. Yeah, so that will be our second um, travel. Second out remote of state remote episode. recording. Yep. Yeah. It'll be nice to collaborate with one of our Instagram followers. Mm -hmm. that, that'll be exciting. Yeah, because we've not done that yet, but we're trying to bring in, you know, like the episode that we're going to publish here soon. To have, we had a guest in here. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. In, uh, podcast with friends. Yep, podcast with friends. And then, and then this is going to be a podcast with... I'm going to say an Instagram follower that's going to become a friend. Yeah. They're automatically friends. Yeah. I mean, if you're following, you're like besties, right? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that the way it works? Hey. And we're going to try to work with some other people to have some um, uh, um, audio video recordings remotely from our studio. 
you know, some of these other people were talking about. Yes. Uh, well, we can mention because they um, they talked about us and they mentioned us first. 18th. So, no, I'm saying it's okay to say their name. Um, Brew Brothers. Um, episode, we'll reach out to them and see when they're available. If 18, they'd like they, to, they mentioned they want to they want to collaborate and do some. What episode are they in now? Um, last one I listened to was 18. Maybe they're 19. Okay, yeah. So I don't remember. Yep. I'll have to check. Actually, but we'll reach out to them. And it's on my Spotify. And I know uh, there's a lot of beer knowledge there for sure. They are on episode 20. Okay, I got yep catch up. But um, yeah, so they want they wanted to collaborate and and do guest appearances. You know, we'll be on their podcast. They'll be on our podcast. But they're funny. We talked to. Alan once through our live. Yeah, it was a shitty connection. He was like, first of all, I think they're... Well, they were driving in an Uber yeah. going... I don't know if it was an Uber or what the hell was happening, but he had someone in the back seat and someone... I'm like, what the hell's going on here? Yeah. And then um, <laughs> uh, Shannon, who is his partner and the co-host in the... Like not domestically, right? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe. We'll, we'll ask. <laughs> you know, it must get lonely out there because they're way the fuck out. But, um, you know, he he's like... A, um, he works at a prison, right? I don't know. I believe so. But yeah, so the... Or a courthouse, maybe? Nice guys. Um, no, I think prison. Yeah. Or maybe he used to work at a prison. We'll find out. Questions we'll ask. Um, cool dudes. Their their podcast is interested. And then um, we'll, where we're going, we'll reach out to some of the breweries there. Maybe we'll be able to do one or two interviews, maybe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or the, the person from Instagram could... Maybe get us in touch with uh, some of the breweries that they like to go to, or, or maybe they know other um, Instagram followers of ours that also they're in the area. Maybe they can invite mm-hmm. them as well. Mm-hmm. Just we can all kind of get together. Yeah, uh, that'll be fun. So yeah, interesting, interesting things coming up uh, this year. We'll we'll do more travel and and beer. Yeah, we're gonna hit episode fifty here relatively soon, right? What did you say? Um, you said, got beer, will travel, right? Have beer, will travel. Have beer, will travel. <laughs> All right. So if people have beer, we will travel. Yeah. I mean, especially to try things out and like, it's just fun for us, you know. And we've traveled internationally, you know, Canada, uh, Paris, Belgium. St. Lucia. St. Lucia. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> A lot of countries in one year. Uh, <laughs> I didn't realize. Less than a year. <laughs> a lot of countries in like seven or eight months. <laughs> yeah. I'll say one yeah, year. <laughs> so you're welcome for that. Go check those fucking finances. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're broke, so can you please uh, follow, uh, subscribe on our Patreon? It's only $5. Yeah. Yeah, go there. Check everything else out. Um, yeah. What else we got? Anything? I don't have any jokes, so I don't have anything to talk about there. That's right. I think um, everything I wanted to mention, I have already. Unless you you have something else no. to bring up. No. No. We're good? We're good. All right. Coffee is delicious. Let's go get some breakfast. Did we talk about coffee rating? No, I don't know how we're going to do that. What, what can we do that scale on? Uh, I mean, we, this is only the second time we've done coffee. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll do, would you drink it again or not? Yes. That's a yes. Yeah. Cheers. So, yeah. Is it normal to cheers with coffee? Yeah. Only if, what, what do we do this normal? <laughs> as long as it's before noon. Mm. I don't think you have coffee whenever you want. No, to cheers with coffee. And I'm not putting Baileys in my... You put Baileys in yours? People do that. I don't like Baileys. Put what? Baileys, Irish cream in their coffee. Oh, no. Yeah, that, you know. I don't even like Irish coffee. Yeah, so... We're not going to have any alcohol ever in our coffee. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm sad about that. Like ever, I don't know. I mean, if you want to try, we, we are going to try to at some point do our own coffee, right? Yes, market our own. So our website will be done shortly, and we'll get there when, once yeah. we bring some revenue in. Um, you've you've contacted a, a company that yeah, we're looking for. I mean, we're testing the waters now. And we'll, we'll um, see. So when we tried some coffee, it wasn't too bad. Mm-hmm. Oh, I have a friend who suggested something. He said we should do, um, <laughs> this is gross. I can't wait. <laughs> he said, you and Frank should do 
hot sauce and beer and see who can last longer. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> you have to do like shot of hot sauce and drink beer. And and keep going. What does that mean? How how who lasts? Like the first one that shit themselves loses, or whoever gives up, whoever says I can't do it anymore. It's too fucking hot. Well, well, isn't there different kinds of hot sauce? Yeah, so we get different types of hot sauce. Well, what if yours is hotter than mine? No, we all do the same. All of us, all two of us, like (laughs) we all do. All of us, every single one of us, both of us. (laughs) There's a there's a YouTube channel where. The host invites like famous people and they eat food with hot sauce mm. while he interviews them and they're fucking crying and their, their face. I don't want to do that. You're fucking snot running down your face. Yeah. No. And then you, you have. You do it and I'll just see, and I'll see how long you last. You know, I'm glad you said that because here's what I told my friend who recommended. He goes, dude. I just thought of this little funny skit you guys can do for your podcast. Tasting hot sauce after having some beer. See who taps out or cries first. <laughs> or poops their pants from mixing beer and sauce. I already said that, yeah. I said, obviously I'll win. <laughs> 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 and you just said, I'll just sit there and watch. So right. I knew it. Yeah, because you like to shit yourself. I so I get this now. No. Since I win. No, we're going to, pound rounds coming, guys. <laughs> This is going to be, I'm I'm prepared for it. And another thing I saw, obviously you're not going to do this because you don't run. (laughs) If I have hot sauce, I'll get the runs. (laughs) It'll be like that joker. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Like with the face. Shooting flames out of your ass. But uh, I saw this video where there's these runners and they lap, they make a lap around the field. They stop, they have to chug a beer Mm -hmm. and then run again. Is this in America? Chug a beer. Yes, because uh, I know that like that one barrel story you're talking about. The Maybe one. in the UK they're like rolling barrels down the hill or something like that. Oh, that was a cheese. Yeah, cheese, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't know if this was like an American thing or not. You know, I forgot that was a long time yeah, ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was early on. Yeah, there's because <laughs> I mean, then we got the Japanese That's Japanese funny. TV game or uh, TV. Well, we we talked about shows. the Japanese TV game where he gets masturbated by the girl while right. he sings karaoke. Yeah, so I don't know where the fuck, what country you're looking at this shit in, because there was two countries Japan. in. No, I know, but then the cheese was the other one, so now you're talking about running around. I didn't know if that was in the U.S. or not. Yeah, well, a world is a big place. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> is it round? It's are you, round. Are you a flat earther? Fuck no, <laughs> dipshits. <shits. laughs> okay. Well, if you walk on the ground, you're not, like, your, your foot's level. It's not like curled so how how, how do you how, can, how do you know the earth is round are you a flat earther don't don't <laughs> <I'm just walking laughs> right. i was gonna say this podcast is over get the fuck out of here <laughs> no i'm not a flat earther nor flat chester do you know that um earth's crust if you were to is it double stuff crust yeah uh. triple quadruple <laughs> <laughs> If you take a globe and you take the little thin layer of paper that's on the globe, mm-hmm. um, is is um, kind of way to measure how thick the crust of the Earth is. Like scale it. All right, I, I know what the fuck you're talking about. You're just <laughs> okay. you're full of shit too. <laughs> what is what is a globe made out of? Is it is it a plastic ball with paper like stuck on it? Or? Well, it depends. Are you talking about some cheap shit from China or some quality stuff? I don't know. Is there quality ones that are metal? They have brass ones that are like uh, imprinted. Why would I want brass with fucking paper over it? Then you don't know it's oh, brass. No, it's all brass and it's itched. Oh, oh, well, that's different. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be a lot of money. Yeah. I'm talking about like this normal globe you see like in a school or something that people you spin. You probably can plastic look. with papers taped on it. It's probably old beer balls. <laughs> 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 from from Budweiser, that's how they recycle yeah, them. Yeah. That's how they are now. There you go. So if you if you peel the paper off, you'll yeah. see it. there's probably residue in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just beer, old beer. That's funny. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, so, anyways, yeah, there's a, there's some challenges, things that I thought of. Maybe mm-hmm. we need to get a group of um, guys who are willing to do that. I think we have a bunch of guys that are willing to do this. Yeah. So we'll uh, we'll go to like a 
I don't know, stadium somewhere. Not a stadium. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Football stadium. <laughs> all of us, all two of us. <laughs> no, like, I meant to say like a field where they have a track. Um, and then we'll set up a table with a bunch of beer. Can we just use like a kiddie pool? You only got to run around like... <laughs> no, a <little> kiddie <laughs> pool. <laughs> <laughs> no, full full lap. And then we'll set up beer, cameras. Everybody's going to wear yeah. bruise and banter. Someday. Uh, beer challenge. Mankinis. <laughs> There's a banter mankinis. And then that, that will be on... Um, I, I think we can get that on ESPN too. Oh, I don't know. I just saw Sports <laughs> Illustrated laid off a bunch of people, like almost all their staff. So that's probably going to go away. All right. So then we'll have it on ESPN 13. Yeah. That's the channel. Okay. You, you, let me know how... You work on that and, and um, you got let it. me know where I got to be and when. And anybody can help us get the blue check mark on Instagram. Please yeah. reach out. Yeah, we got to fucking get that done. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I think we checked all the qualifications except um, the very last one, which is the toughest one, where you got to be like with oh, the sperm sample. One. Public. Was weird. <laughs> the sperm sample. It's hard to submit it when it's still I warm. Gave that they yeah. still reject. No, it. they want a body temperature by the time they get it. <laughs> <laughs> the last one where you have to be like a recognized uh, public figure or something like this. Yeah, company yeah. or whatever. So, any any local newspaper, reach out for an article. We'll do it. Yeah, that'd be good. For security, um, for sure. Yeah, just just so we can kind of protect our 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 brand, mm -hmm. you know, and then less less scammers on on social media can steal it. So, on that note, uh, thank you to followers. Thank you to subscribers. Our Patreon subscribers is growing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> slowly. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, so thank you guys, and um, looking forward to our 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 trip coming up. And then yeah, that'd be fun. bring the content. I still have some content from the Europe trip that um, I have to post. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll hopefully get that up soon. We got our product reviews we'll put up and things like that. So things are happening. We yes. get there. It's just busy. So thanks for the patience and thanks for the support. Yeah, we're getting back in gear after all the holidays and drinking and food. So thank you, everyone. All right. Thank you. Good day. Bye. Hey, Hopheads, Frank here. And Roman. Welcome to Bruise and Banter, the podcast where we sip and spill the funniest stories over a cold one. We're not just brewing laughs and comedy. We also discuss life stories and current events in every episode. Follow the frolic on our socials, where we brew up more than just banter. Check out linktree forward slash bruise and banter for all the goods. And guess what? We've got a VIP section. Join our Patreon for exclusive content, behind-the-scenes brew secrets, and maybe even a blooper reel or two. Subscribe, laugh, and unlock the full brews and banter experience. Because life is too short for bad beer and boring stories. Cheers. <laughs>